Hello everyone, I'm Yalda. Welcome back to my channel Eat, Burn, Sleep. Today I'm going to show you a recipe which has been requested by so many of you. I don't make it for myself because I cannot eat rice, but I make it for my children. My dad is from Iran and Persian rice is so delicious. I have a Persian rice cooker and I'm going to show you how you can make Persian rice with that beautiful crust Persians call tadig, which is absolutely to die for. I remember as a kid I used to love it and I would add extra butter on it and I would eat it like toasts. <laughs> um, so it's not really fit with the anti-inflammatory eat, burn, sleep lifestyle, but if you make my recipes, you can make this as a side for you as a treat or for the, your friends and your family the way I do it. So all you need is a Persian rice cooker. It is different from an Asian rice cooker and it's, it's going to give you that lovely crust. Um, and I use basmati rice, long grain basmati rice, a little bit of butter. You can use any, any oil as long as it is not olive oil and some good quality salt. So here I have some rice. I'm going to measure as much rice as I will measure water. Next, I have some good quality butter. And here I have some sea salt. So I measure rice this way with a glass. So I'm putting generally one glass I use is enough for two people. And I'm using two glasses of rice. The next step, which is very crucial, is to rinse the rice from the starch it naturally contains. So what I do is I do this and I swirl the rice around until the water turns quite cloudy, at which point I get rid of the water and I start the process again. And you repeat this process until the water is clear. This cloudy white uh, Thing you see in the water is basically the starch and by removing the starch the rice will not be sticky it's also less fattening yummier and better for you some people just run water through a sieve with the rice in it but I grew up in Morocco and I have seen the devastating effects of lacking water for agriculture. This will always stay with me and I find it quite hard to waste water. So I never leave, I never leave the tap on when I brush my teeth. And I'm mindful of uh, water waste because some places like Scotland get a lot of rainfall but the desert is growing and a lot of areas are becoming more and more arid and I have experienced this firsthand my grandfather had a farm which used to be so lush and then we had to they had to do holes in the ground <laughs> for water wells and the first forage was, I don't know how many meters, second one. And, and they had to dig deeper every year until there was no longer any water underneath it. And the water stream that was running down it dried out. So anyway, this is my personal story telling you why <laughs> I use this method rather than running water through a sieve. <laughs> So now I'm happy with uh, the way the water is looking, that's enough. I'm going to drain most of the water out.
and now I'm measuring two glasses the equivalent of the right so you see I fill them up to the top just gonna do this with I put quite a bit of salt because rice needs salt and a good piece of butter let's make it delicious a little more <laughs> cover it and start it until I mean I, I believe this is German uh, until it says it's cooked it's going to be about 30 to 40 minutes but the longer you leave it the more golden that crust will be this is now ready so the way to serve it is I put a plate on top you have to be careful not to burn yourself and you turn it over and here we go super crispy easy to make homemade Persian rice so I'm going to show you how it looks on the inside look at that perfect and my children and friends absolutely rave about this rice I hope you enjoyed watching my Persian rice recipe it is easy enough to find one of these cookers just ask wherever you live for a Persian shop they always have them thanks so much for watching make sure to check out my Instagram eat burn sleep my website eatburnsleep.com where I have released the amazing six-week plan for gut health inflammation and healthy weight loss thanks so much for watching <laughs>